Hi friends, we are discussing our module third that is the evolution. So today we are going to discuss about the behavior part. So behavior, let's start with foraging behavior. So my topic of discussion is foraging behavior. Basically it is the process of intake of food materials. Okay, so let's start with the introductory part as always. So here selection of those foraging behavior that maximize the amount of energy gain per unit time is spent in the foraging. Means amount of energy will be maximum as compared to the time spent in foraging or energy investment in foraging. Optimal foraging models will vary based upon the type of foraging and animal species practices given its role in the ecosystem or its niche. Niche ecosystem we have already discussed in the ecology module that is our second module. For example, high level predators such as lion or wolves must exert significant energy in order to chase down fast moving prey. Prey predator model we have also discussed but once they have caught their prey, say a gazelle, the dense calorie content of the meat provides a big payoff, allowing them to go for days without having to hunt again. Loin also spend most of their time resting, saving their energy for hunt and may pass up to particular fast gazelle as prey if catching the gazelle requires too much energy output. Okay. So in a foraging behavior, we can say intermediate size of food provides greater net energy. Because if the size of the predator or the prey, size of prey will be large, then the more energy investment will be there and increased net energy gain leads to increased fitness. So foraging it is basically searching for wild food resources. It affects an animal fitness because it plays an important role in an animal's ability to survive and reproduce. Survival and reproduction these two are basic things for any organism to sustain. So foraging theory is a branch of behavior ecology that studies the foraging behavior of animals in response to the environment where the animal lives. So foraging behavior, this, these are the key points related to foraging behavior. Here advantage of foraging ratio to gaining calories means what is the advantage of foraging? The main aim is gaining calories. Animal tend to optimize foraging. Here it shows that energy gain for that particular foraging, it must be more than energy spent. Means the amount of energy that a particular predator it is investing for their prey is less than the am amount of energy gained. Means amount of energy gained it should be always more than energy is spent. And consider the cost benefit analysis also. So here is the graph in which you can easily see the expected transit time. This is the tangent into in intake curve. This is the optimal time in the patch, time foraging in patch. This is the cumulative resource intake. Means after this is the energy uh, pros produced or spent energy so this is the graph okay so factors which affect the foraging behavior are learning genetics parasitism predation parasitism predation we have discussed in gen uh, species interaction so learning is what it is an adaptive change or modification of behavior based on previous experience Genetics, it is related to the genetics. We have discussed a whole module all related to gene, genotype and phenotype. Parasitism and predation that is the presence of predators. So foraging behavior, it is hypothesized that foraging task and technique in a species are shaped by natural selection. Here natural selection select those foraging behavior that maximize the amount of energy gain per unit time spent in foraging. So it is a complex and energetically expensive foraging task should be economically efficient. As I already discussed, as I told you, dear friends, as I told you that always the energy gain is, it must be more than the energy investment. And theory of optimal foraging is that organism will be energy maximizers or time minimizer. Means less time and energy will be maximum. Time minimum, energy maximum. Energy maximizers try to get the most energy out of an environment. Time minimizers try to get the energy they need in the least possible time. Okay. 
so types of foraging that is the solitary foraging and group foraging solitary means alone there will be no groups single it is in when animal find capture and consume their prey alone and what about group foraging it is when animal find capture and consume prey in the presence of other individuals so group and solitary so this slide is too much important foraging basically the act of searching for chasing searching for chasing capturing killing and consuming food these all are the steps first is searching then chase then capture then kill and then consume these are the all the steps so here as i already discussed as i already told you that benefit it is more than the cost foraging results in food a benefit in terms of energy and foraging takes energy there is cost in terms of times and energy cost is always less than the benefit as long as the benefit of energy outweigh the energetic in time cost expended the foraging strategy has a positive impact on the individual reproductive fitness if a foraging strategy has an overall cost it will harm the individual's reproductive fitness and therefore have a deleterious effect it will likely be lost through natural selection foraging species eventually evolve that what it knows as optimal foraging strategy optimum is something at intermediate range their foraging behavior represent the maximum benefit cost ratio energy gain per unit effort so in one line you can say that in foraging behavior intermediate size of food provide greater net energy or when the energy net energy gain will increase it leads to more fitness so reproduction survival and reproduction these two are the basic needs so through this graph you can easily see this is the time or cost and this is the benefit and uh, this is the net uh, net gain per unit effort no added gain per unit effort this is the optimal range or optimum foraging value okay this is the benefit that is the cumulative suppose natural selection will select any which have greater fitness means always remember this point benefit the amount of energy that is investing in the foraging it will be more than always the cost in in terms of time and energy both so this topic is too much interesting and too easy basic things we i have told types of foraging all the factors so friends try to learn the key points only if you feel any problem you can write your query in comment box i will wait for your queries or uh, comment for this video if you like this video hit the like button share this video and friends please subscribe to my channel thank you friends i hope we will meet soon thank you once again bye bye